can you tell us a little bit how you made this decision at this point to um, sign the multi-year contract? Well, this was an easy decision. They're, they're not always easy decisions in this business, but this one was, was a very easy one. Um, Coach has been a terrific partner for me, and uh, the results on the floor are clear. You know, we all we all had the confidence in this building uh, and had the expectations uh, to be where we are today. But uh, outside this building, the expectations were very different, and uh, we've clearly exceeded those, and uh, Coach deserves a lot of credit for that. Easy decision, easy negotiation? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's... Um, it was, we clearly wanted Chris to be here for a long time, and, and he did as well. So, and uh, as well as his, uh, the entire bench coaching staff as well. What surprised you most about where this team exceeded expectations? Uh, you know, I'd say you know we knew we had a lot of offensive talent uh, in this roster, um, but I would say on the defensive end of the floor, and I think Coach and his staff deserve a lot of credit for that. And building schemes to really uh, maximize uh, the personnel that we have. Uh, so I, I think that's been, been really impressive. Sacha, when you look at the way that the staff is assembled and kind of complements each other, what, do you, what stands out about why that group meshes so well with some different personalities and expertises and backgrounds and all of those things? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, in, throughout this, you know, uh, uh, extending uh, the staff was top of mind for coach as well um, and he's put together a, a great group of, group of guys uh, some of who are here with a prior uh, the previous regime um, and others who he hired this past summer and like you said there's a lot of different skill sets and, and personalities um, but they each one of them really adds to the, the culture uh, that, that we're building here. Uh, some guys are a little bit quieter, some guys um, are a little bit more extroverted and, and bring a little bit more energy to the building every day, but everyone adds to the culture and, uh, and we can all feel it. Everyone's excited every day to come into the building and uh, each and every person on staff is a big part of that. Chris has talked about how much he likes working with you and obviously you've said the same. What is it about the relationship there that you think works so well? You know, I think we've known each other a long time. Uh, you know, we, we worked together way back in Houston uh, when he was the head coach at RGV. Uh, so there's there's a long history and a trust that, that we built there. Uh, and I think also personality-wise, th there's just no ego be between either of us. And uh, we both view this as a partnership. Um, and we, we trust in each other in doing uh, that he's going to do a great job on the coaching side and I'm going to do a great job uh, putting the roster together. Uh, but we're also very open with each other and he's a huge part of any decision that I make. Um, and any time I have any thoughts or input, he's, he's wide open on that as well. So it's, it's truly a partnership. Yes. Seeing these early results, has this been your goal for a while now to set it up where you two can be running this thing for a while and see where you can take it? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, my... my first focus is, is taking care of him and his staff, and they deserve that. Um, but yeah, I think there's there's a, a lot of positives here uh, to build upon, and uh, it's there's a great culture that we're building. Um, I mentioned Coach and I and the partnership that we have, but it also extends to, to Ethan and the business side. Uh, there's just there's a lot of positives in this building right now. Being as the, the, you two met in Houston and kind of grew up there, if you, if you will, what similarities does this experience with this team and how it's growing have to those early Houston teams? Uh, you know, I think, you know, back then when Coach and I were working together, um, you know, he had been a head coach for a long time overseas and this was a new experience coming over here. And I think it was back in Houston, we were sort of known then for analytics and, and bringing data to bear. and. Coach was really interested in that aspect, and um, and I, that was a role that I was in there as an analyst, and he was really curious, and we ended up working together closely on lots of different random projects, getting deep into player tracking data and understanding how to create corner threes. Um, and I think that's there's that same uh, curiosity and open-mindedness is really um, part of the, the, the culture that we're building here as well.